The COVID-19 pandemic saw spectacular advances in vaccine technology, but it also highlighted the huge importance of digital health care. Exchanging clinical information can be crucial for both treatments and better patient recovery. It's why digitalization and data sharing are now seen as key for public healthcare systems. And it's the path the European Union is taking. It's just launched a European health data space that will be gradually implemented over the coming years. But what is it exactly? It's an interconnected database that aims to facilitate access to patients' health information and ensure continuity of care, even when they are in another European country. The exchange of health information is currently regulated by existing national and European legislation. The European health data space promises more efficient care and better diagnostic capacity, and it should also boost scientific research, enabling European companies to create more tailored medicine, health devices and services. Finally, increased data sharing should lead to better and more informed policy making. Over the last two years, several EU countries have accelerated their use of digital health technology. Portugal is at the forefront of this revolution. The country's health ministry has tasked an IT authority to carry out this transition. When it comes to digital data, what we want is for this data, once it's been entered into the system, to generate information that actually feeds the entire system. This happens at various levels in Portugal. Today we have clinical data resulting from medical information that's related to each user. Portugal has almost stopped using paper prescriptions. Now, around 98% of the country's hospitals provide digital ones. Clinical files are stored online. Patients can access the health information through a website and a smartphone application, where they can also connect to a doctor for a teleconsultation. The same app also allows patients to reach the Ministry of Health's contact centre for general inquiries. In addition to Portuguese, answers are provided in English and sign language. Artificial intelligence is also harnessing data to help healthcare professionals. We're helping in the decision-making process for both doctors and users in relation to any pathologies that they might have and that may be more easily detectable through these artificial intelligence mechanisms. Advances in digital health are also underway in Germany with an app system called Digger. At this clinic in Bottrop in the northwest of the country, doctors prescribe apps just as they would medicine to help patients better manage their health. Users can download them to their smartphone, tablet or computer. The apps include a range of medical conditions from cancer to cardiovascular diseases, chronic migraines and depression. If I think of concrete examples such as migraine, weight loss or tinnitus, one can benefit from receiving support outside the surgery when it comes to documentation, but also receive help on what to do when the condition gets worse, so that the patient is not left alone outside the practice's premises, so to speak. The creation of a European health data space is set to revolutionise medicine as we know it. Marking a new era of cooperation, European countries are already exploring ways to harmonise rules and standards while also making sure patient health data is kept safe. <laughs>